Welcome back to Cloudy Cleric. I'm Oliver. Hi, hello. And today is another unscripted video that I am bringing to you. And basically, I wanted to talk about this. I don't know if it's still a problem. It's definitely not as big of a thing as it once was, especially on Tumblr. That probably makes no sense. I'm talking about gay versus by Mike Truthers. It definitely, for a hot second, it was, um, it was a thing. It was definitely a thing. It was like, by truthers, don't interact. Gay truthers, don't interact. That, like, literally, like, do not interact if you believe that, like, Mike is gay or bi or whatever. I mean, put whoever you want on your do not interact list. But sometimes I just think it's a little silly. I think I saw a post from a while ago, and it was like, I have to look this up now. Tumblr.com. It says, graphic designers do not interact. If you're a graphic designer, fuck off, we hate you. Well, we should probably get back on track. I wanted to say, does it matter if Mike is gay or bi? Like, I very much subscribe to the theory that Mike was never attracted to L and vice versa. I very much believe that L and Mike were never attracted to each other and it was just a result of like societal norms and Mike sees the first girl that he likes and she has superpowers and he's like, oh my god, I love superpowers and they kiss. I very much believe that theory. Can Mike still be bisexual? Sure. Yes, he can. Just because he wasn't attracted to Elle doesn't mean he's not attracted to any woman at all. So, he can still be bisexual, guys. On the other hand, gay Mike Truthers are like, we've never seen in the show that he has any attraction to women. So, therefore, we can very clearly assume that Mike is gay and not bi. I think that's fine. Like, I think as long as you're not making a gay character straight, that is canonically gay, like, that's fine. Okay, this is a very case-by-case -case basis. In terms of Mike Wheeler, if Mike Wheeler kisses Will, and but, like, never is like, I'm gay, and I only like men, I don't care if you see him as bi. He could be bi. Who knows? This is all over the place. But then again, every time I see posts on my dash being like, Mike is gay, I'm like, whoa, Mike is gay. And so that brings me to my conclusion. This video is so shit that this is probably not ever gonna be uploaded. Just kidding! That's not the conclusion. The conclusion is that Mike Wheeler is unlabeled. As of right now. If something happens in season 5, don't quote me on that. Mike Wheeler is unlabeled and I feel like he should be left unlabeled. Because we already have put a label on Will's sexuality, right? Like, he's already been confirmed canonically gay. But the thing is, is that I don't think we need that sort of confirmation with Mike. If Mike likes Will, that's that's all I ask for in life. That's, that's all I need. That's all I need to keep going. I think just having him not label himself would be a really good writing choice. He wouldn't necessarily define himself under one label, right? And the show's kind of all about breaking against societal norms, especially with Mike and Elle's relationship. Like, they're very much society. I can't, I can't describe it. Other people have described it more th better than I can. It's all about changing and like being true to who you are. And if Mike is like, fuck this, I don't want to put a label on my sexuality. Like, I don't know. Like, I like who I like. That's 100% fine. He can be unlabeled. If, if he's not like, I'm bi or I'm gay in the show, that's fine. It doesn't erase his attraction to Will. I feel like a lot of the time people are like, oh, if you think Mike is gay, then you're erasing his attraction to Will. I mean, bye. Like, a lot of gay Mike truthers think that headcanoning Mike as bi erases his gayness in the show. And it's like, being gay is queer. Being bi is also queer. Why? <laughs> He's still gay. He's still part of the community. And I get if you're gay and you're like, Mike Wheeler's gay because I'm gay. I relate to him. That's fine. That's fine. Or Mike Wheeler's bi because I'm bi. That's also fine, but I'm just saying, does it really matter? Does it really matter, guys? And my food for thought. All that matters? Mike wants to kiss Will. I don't know why I hesitated. Mike wanted, Mike, Mike, Mike wants now. Mike wants to kiss Will. The end.
<laughs> this video is kind of all over the place. I'm just trying to say, Mike being bi doesn't make him any less queer. Just to be clear, I am not a bi or a gay Mike truther. I know it kind of sounds like I'm on the side of the bi Mike truthers for this. I think there's flaws in their argument too. I don't think everybody who's a gay Mike truther is biphobic. That is dumb and stupid. Just because you had canon Mike is gay does not mean he is bi- you, you're biphobic. It doesn't work like that. I hate to bring it to you guys, it doesn't work like that. What makes you biphobic is when you don't support bisexual people. The main point of this video that I wanted to get across that I just realized I never said in the entirety of filming this video, I think this says a lot about society's fascination with putting labels on everything, like micro labels. I have like such feelings about micro labels and it's like this whole big fucking mess but the thing is i just think it says a lot about how everybody feels the need to just slap a label on mike otherwise he's like not gay enough for them or not queer enough for them or it just automatically means that he's not queer girl girl <laughs> So this shirt was designed by Salt Cat. I will t I I will include their Instagram at because I love this I love this fucking design. I don't know if you can see behind me, but right there, right there, I have it as a poster. And I love this design. It looks like I was grabbing my boobs. I don't have boobs. As you can see, we have pretty much like every character. I like Argyle because he looks cool as fuck. I'm gonna link them on Instagram. I don't know if they do shipping, like, worldwide or nationwide. My mom found them at a farmer's market, and that's where I bought it from. Very sorry if I'm, like, promoting this brand and, like, they don't even ship merch. This is what happens when I don't have a script and I just... And I just talk. Unchecked. Unfiltered. Next video will be when my Stranger Things trading cards get here. I think they're supposed to be here between, like, the 4th and the 7th. And if I don't get Will... And Mike, what the fuck has this been for? That's it for today's video. If you like it, please like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. That's crazy. That's half of a thousand people. I love you all, though. Follow me on Instagram if you want. Actually, I don't know what following me on Instagram does. I don't know what value my Instagram account brings to you. I don't know. If you want to see a picture of... Brendan Urie and RuPaul with high hopes playing in the background. Follow me on Instagram because <laughs> that's what I post. Yeah, at Cloudy Cleric on there too. And you can follow me on Tumblr, which is where I mainly post, except I've been very, very busy lately, so I haven't been posting as much. Cloudy Cleric on there as well. Remember, guys, stay safe. Life is Roblox. Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. Let's go golfing. Let's go golfing! DJ Khaled dance, dancing. I forget how he dances, but it's something like... <laughs> like, he does something with his arms. I kind of want his, like, We The Best rug. <laughs> well, okay, I'm actually signing off now. It's crackhead hours. Okay, bye for real!